Hello everybody, welcome back to the office for Q of the day. So today's question uh, comes to us from Randy and it's a pretty good question that I think everybody's gonna have to deal with uh, when we pass on how is this going to affect us as far as our cryptocurrency digital assets and how do we leave it to our family members. But before we get into that, uh, just to make sure, uh, I've got a couple of, of comments about my beautiful green screen that I have uh, for my office. Uh, this is not a green screen. Uh, watch this. This is not, not a good thrower, but uh, all right. So I'm not a magician, so not a green screen. This is actually my office. And uh, people think, oh, it's so awesome to have a pool in your office. No, it's not. Well, I'm going to tell you why. First of all, you have to do a lot of maintenance. And uh, second of all, it's hot. Uh, if you're, because I'm in El Paso, Texas. And uh, if you haven't realized that, uh, some days it gets to be like 106, 110. So I'm out here in this area, uh, non air conditioned. So uh, don't think this is like the most fantastic setup of all time. It's not. It's just that my wife kicks me out of the house and this is semi detached. And she goes, go in the, go to the pool room and do your stuff. So uh, that is what it, it all is. So uh, don't think this is anything fantastic. It's not. All right. So the question then is uh, this is from Randy. He says, I'd like to know how to ensure that my daughter has access to my digital assets should I get hit by a bus, which you never know. I mean, that could happen tomorrow. I mean, hit by a bus, uh, just keel over, heart attacks, uh, anything that could happen, right? Who knows? Uh, unlike a traditional bank account, I can't make her a beneficiary, which is true. How would I specify this in a will or a trust? Maybe you could add, you could do a segment on that topic. I think it's something we should all be thinking about. And, uh, you know, these are things that, that we don't think about it, until you know a family member this actually happens too i mean if if i pass away then you know i have instructions for my wife and how she's going to get all the uh all the uh cryptocurrency assets off off the ledger but in certain families this might be more of an issue I mean, if you think about it if you have a large family and you just kind of verbally tell you know your spouse like hey or your or one of your kids hey this is where all the money's at uh let me tell you uh I've been involved in these situations where uh, money makes families go crazy. So it's super important that you have some kind of written instruction before you pass away, because if not, if the, it all has to come down to the generosity of people, it, uh, it usually, not all the time, but it usually kind of gets, it de-evolves into something very uh, ugly, and I think we don't want that for any of our family members. So. Um, what we have done is we have created a trust and we can only do that with with a lawyer so uh, usually you know what usually happens is go to a lawyer and then you know put out all the information that you want and have it specified uh, you know, line by line so that that is one one way to do things uh, another way is if it's just a very small family like Randy here just wants his daughter to have everything so um, the best way that I, I said to him was well first of all if, if you have it on a ledger, you know, you just put it in your uh, instructions in your uh, will that my daughter gets the ledger and she can open it up. And you can even, you know, put instructions there or you can try to uh, teach uh, your daughter or your significant other, you know, how to actually get those and transfer them in, in, into your accounts. Another thing is that if you have a Celsius wallet, uh, they have a... Uh, there's they're going to be adding something into their actual wallet where you can put um, the information of a beneficiary which is pretty great if you think about it so all you would need is uh, that letter uh, or some type of will and a death certificate that states who gets what and it'll go to that person I don't know those specific details but thankfully uh, Alex Mashinsky the CEO from Celsius will be on the show tomorrow to answer that question and a bunch of other ones that, that I have about Celsius. Uh, some things that I've just seen that have gone on or questions that you have sent to me. So these are just uh, two things that uh, I think will help. But the big thing is, is just make sure that when you're doing all these this, this type of work, you specify who gets what. It's not like this goes to my family and then uh, you know let them figure it out because I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, it'll get ugly. So uh, that is, hopefully that answers Randy's question. Now, another thing is that I see with um, what's gonna happen in the future. This is like the same thing with, with the internet days. Nobody realized when the internet came about that we would need somebody to make a specific website for marketing or a specific website for sales or to have somebody who would do search engine optimization or would do you know Facebook ads or something like that. I mean, we just didn't know that when the internet came about. So 
I have gotten this question many a time. Uh, one is from Randy, one was from Droplet. I got this, two, this question uh, twice before from two other people about what's going to happen when I pass away and how does this go into my family because my lawyer has no idea what the hell I'm talking about. And my family, uh, when I try to talk about cryptocurrency, they just call me a kook because it's digital assets, right? So this is, I see it like this. I see this actually to be a service that could be done in the future by a group or by a person or by a group of people who would transition your digital assets from one person to another. It could, it could go like that. Some people will say, well, that's not the whole point of you know, cryptocurrency. It's because you are your own bank and you should have uh, your uh, access, your keys to everything that, that's out there, which is true. However, um, that is what you are doing. Your family uh, right now, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna guarantee, I'm gonna guarantee that your entire family is not 100% on board with digital assets and cryptocurrencies. They probably look at you like you're a kook sometimes, they're just kind of crazy. So if this is the case, I think maybe down the, ro down the road, this could actually be a service, like someone would go in there and be like, okay, I know how to you know, work all these different wallets and, and all these different uh, like uh, you know, cold storage or hot storage or whatever else. Here's the paperwork that we need. Here's the forms that we have to have. Just something I see as maybe a potential thing in the future. I don't know. Let me understand the comment section, but uh, hopefully that answers the question and uh, let's jump back. All right, that's it. So I hope that uh, answers the question. It's one of those uh, topics that nobody wants to talk about, but we have to talk about, uh, you know, death and cryptocurrency. That's just how it is. Uh, before we take off, I just wanted to ask for a favor. I don't usually ask for likes. I don't ask for subscribers. That's just not what I do. But I have another channel. It's called the uh, Digital Asset News Clips. And just like today, how there was a lot of information. I just break it down by clips. Not everybody has the opportunity to listen for 30 minutes, 40 minutes to me ramble on about different topics. So I break it up into different sections. Not only that, is I want to do this because you never know when YouTube is going to pull the plug on your channel. This has happened to numerous cryptocurrency digital asset channels and it will continue to keep happening, especially as time goes on. So I just need to make sure that there's a backup. So what I was going to ask you to do uh, in the description of every one of my videos, the second channel link is there. It's going to look like this. If you'd be so kind, just head on over there and subscribe. All the different things that we talk about are going to be in clips there. And I'm also going to do one bonus clip for this channel specifically for that channel that will not be on the regular digital asset news so just want to have two just as a backup and I want to make it easier for you because time is money and like I said not everybody's got all the time in the world to listen to me ramble so maybe just want to listen to just a specific clip and that's it that's why I created that video and the channel to boot all right so thanks so much for uh, sticking with me really appreciate it if you like these types of videos there's gonna be two months gonna pop up in your left and right not sure what it is because YouTube controls all that just like they may have controlled the uh, cruddy ad that you saw which may have been a scam I have no control over those just so you know so if you want to talk to YouTube about it they'd love to hear from you so check them out anyhow that's it for today thanks so much I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one